Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with me, Oxfu. And like last time we finally found out what the well, we told the town about the secrets of Soul Sanctum and why Vale's not going to be destroyed by the lava flow. But what we have to do is we got to set out and we've got to get back those three elemental stars from Minardi, Satoros, Alex, and Felix. And oh god, we just ran into a random battle! Random battle! Random battle! Hit the random battle guys with random attacks! Yo, Take that, vermin! Yeah, four experience points, random battle! Um... <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna start cutting those out. But anyway, let's figure out what this little floaty thingy right here is. Question mark face? Oh god, this is gonna be death. Okay, I could either... I could do one or two of two things. What am I gonna do? Oh god, I hate this. So... A traveling warrior! And I see you're an adept too! You're just the kind of fighter that I've been looking for! <laughs> what, like, um... A woman worth fighting for? <laughs> Won't you please take me along with you? No, you look ugly as shit. Of, co of course I'm not going to take you with me. I'm a Venus Jenny. Genie, my name is Flint. It looks like you're already eating like half your, f the bottom half of your face. I must find my comrades. We were separated. We were separated from each other when the volcano erupted. We are all the communist gin in the world, so I need to find my comrades. But maybe you could help gather my friends together as you travel. If you let me join you, I'll prove to be very beneficial to you adepts. Your strategy will grow stronger, and your adept skills will also improve. You can call on us in battle, or just use our power to boost your own. If you call on many of us at once, our powers will work together. What do you think? Will you take me with you? Yes, I will take you with me. Oh, you'll you'll see. You won't regret it. I'm already regretting it, you damn Jin. Now, I'll briefly teach you how to use Jin. Oh God. All right. So after you get a Jin, you need to set it to somebody. It's going to be given to the first person who has an open. Um, gym slot, and you're gonna see that it's it's red. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit A to set it, and then that's gonna boost the character's stats. Um, you can also click on another character to give them. Um, in some cases, this will actually change their class. Like, look, uh, Garrett just turned from a uh, guard to a brute. It also changes synergy in some cases, especially when you're changing from one element to the next. Um. Yeah, each of the djinn has a different power that you can call upon in battle, which we're going to show right now. So, like, yeah, see how the stats go up and down, and the class changes back. Anyway, he's going to show us a random battle where you're going to see that now you have a djinn icon, and you use that command to unleash the djinn. So in this case, we're going to unleash Flint, which I believe what his attack does, you'll see that it says uh, a powerful blow that can... Uh, cut through stone. I believe it ignores some bit of, of defense. And then once you have Jin set on s standby, you can you can use the summon command, which will show up, and then you can use it to summon even greater beasts. In this case, Venus. Um, the more pe the more Jin of a particular type that you have set, the stronger the summon that you can well summon. I believe it's up to four in this game. I don't know if it gets more, if it gets stronger in the other games, but anyway. See, we Jin can be very useful, can't we? Except not really when you're explaining things, because you take so long. And one more thing. Oh yes, after you use a Jin for a summon, um, you need to wait a little while for the Jin to recover, and it will reset ourselves automatically. Um, when you use a djinn in battle to attack, like we did with Flint, it's going to be set to standby again, and you'll have to reset it. Do you get all that? Yes, I did. It. Uh, I'll show you as we go on. It's actually really sim simple. Oh yeah, if you want to learn more about djinn, refer to the help, okay? Yeah, you select. It's not that big of a deal. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And now we get our first djinn. Which this is ba the basic way that we're going to be increasing the stats of our characters throughout the game. 
Um, once we get more characters, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing for the first half of the game. I have a setup that I always use near the end of the game just because... Alright, I'm just going to show you. Okay, so we use Flint and he's going to attack. And then we'll have him set. And I'm also going to use Flare by Garrett just because I don't... I want to try to take out the other guy. Yeah, there we go. But now you see the summon menu comes up and we can use Venus, which is a much more powerful attack. So just one second, and there we go. Pretty simple. Really nothing to it. But anyway, later on in the game, Synergy becomes the name of the game. That's really where the end game is. Um, I mean, Summons are a quick fix thing more than anything else. So as we get go further along, I'll keep switching things around and showing you what I'm doing. So, all right, for now, let's look at what this is. We can't stay another minute in a dangerous place like this. We return to Calais immediately. <laughs> I don't know what voice I'm giving in. It's like halfway between like. Turkish and stupid. <laughs> Master Hammett, this is terrible. The, the bridge has been destroyed. We cannot continue southward. What? The bridge? <laughs> no, he's, he's, the, he's the count. I, I count one bridge that is down. This is awful. How are we going to get to Calais now without one, two, three, four caravan carriages? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> he doesn't even look anything like the Count, but... Master Hammett, I'm worried about leaving Ivan behind. I count them. One, two, three, dot, dot, dots. As fond as I am of Ivan, it is his fault my rod was sown. Whoa! Whoa there! And his strange powers will aid him in search of the rod. Whoa, Master Hammett, I don't know what you're talking about. Ivan has strange powers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has the strangest of powers. Oh god, ice crystals coming down on us. Actually, those are synergy stone crystals if I'm if I'm correct. We must leave this place, tre this treacherous place immediately. I count one threat to our lives. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> but to where? Where can we go? We have no choice. We are heading north. We'll, we'll wind up in Lumpa if we go north. Well, it's better than being smashed by falling rocks I here, isn't it? I count our chances of survival as 6,531 to 1. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. <laughs> it's kind of like an asteroid field, so... But then again, I don't remember the number that C-3PO said in that movie. Eh, well, whatever. Don't know what that was about, but... Couldn't be anything important. Alright, just one second, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Just had to turn off the motion blur blending and stuff again, just so it doesn't look like crap. Uh, but here we are in... Your vault, is it? And next time, we're gonna... I don't know. Bum around town, see what we can find about where Taros and Minardi went. And maybe check out what that Ivan kid's doing. After all, we're on a quest. Why not help out those in need? So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio X Fu. I know this might have been a short episode, but we did a lot of explaining with the Earth Jin, so I feel like we should start a new episode. So I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. <laughs>